Hello, and welcome to Skill Core version 8.0's user guide. As of the day this video was uploaded, in order to completely use Skill Core, you would need the following an Android device with internet access, a Raspberry Pi with the pre installed code that emits a local Wi Fi hotspot. This Wi Fi hotspot would be the base where the four Arduino pads will connect directly to. Because these pads are wireless, they can set up in any way the user please. And th th as long as there's nothing in the way that blocks the Wi-Fi connection between the pads and the, the Raspberry Pi. Thankfully, this might not be a big of an issue in the future. Skill Skillcord is in the middle of upgrading the hardware. They plan on upgrading their system to not need the Raspberry Pi hotspot and have the pads connect directly to the app itself via Bluetooth. When working on this project, you will be given access to the MVP project files, where you can find three classes that handle the connection from the Android app, the Android app, to the Raspberry Pi hotspot. They can be found within the Java files, the main files, within the connection folder. These three: Arduino, Arduino Connection Handler, and Arduino Manager. It is important to study these classes because, like I previously mentioned, Skillcore wants to skip the need to connect to a hotspot. There would have to be many changes made to these three classes in order to connect to the hardware directly without the need of the Raspberry hotspot. They plan to do this connection through Bluetooth. If we look here at the Arduino Manager.java class, you can notice that they have static IPs to connect to the four pads. Future versions of Skillcore will aim to connect to any number of pads within the area without having prior knowledge of these pads. This will add a lot of flexibility when making new games. The new account system that was still in development aims at including a second type of user, the coach user. This user would have the ability to manage regular player users in the sense that they could own their own team of players view their match histories, and send players customized game patterns as they saw as fit. Registration would now allow you the choice of picking what kind of user you want to be beforehand. This activity simply redirects the guest to the corresponding regist registration page. Here's a view of what the, the coach would see their players, their, their team. Coders will be able to view their list of players, they can click on a player's name or their icon and it will direct them straight to their profile. Where here they can look at the overall stats or they can go into the past games and look at all their history. Coaches will also have the ability to send players sequences. In the game, mo um, the most normal mode is the random light up mode but as a coach you can send them a specific sequence. All information is handled through Firebase. Firebase is an easy to use and powerful tool that has even built-in instructions for whatever operation you wish to do. You can easily access these instructions by clicking on the Tools tab at the top of Android Studios and selecting Firebase. Right over it opens an assistant tab on the right side with, with titles of what type of action you can want to perform. The most useful being the real-time database section where you will retrieve and upload profile information or the storage section where you can save larger files including videos and pictures. These set of instructions come with detailed lists and even code to be able to help you do whatever you need to do.